Hopefully I got it right this time. I think it's right on the money. I think I got it. Last time was really close though. It's kind of annoying. And yeah, after two uses, you do have to go back and get more grog from the harbor. So hopefully you can get it right. There we go, got it right on the money. Beautiful painting shares ruin. Hey, you might as well take it. It is of no use to me now. Thanks. Hooray! I have the something blue. Can I look at it? Let's look at the blue painting. It's a painting from Meat Hook's Blue Period, depicting what appears to be the entire Tri Island area. Hooray! The Tri Island area. We'll just go ahead and put that away and glitch through very many different camera angles of the same damn room uh, because I do believe that we are in fact done here. So let's get out of the Lua bar, I mean the scum bar, and we can head back to the harbor. Now that one's kind of annoying. You gotta get it right on the money in order to get that to work. She's even a little off. This will not work out well for you. And now we... Oh, God, so many camera angles. How you doing? Hey there, Mr. Cheese. Ahoy. Uh, how are things? How are things down here? Quiet. Too quiet. Where's Carla? Where's Carla? I'm right here. Where? She's on scupper cleaning duty. It's not fair. Otis cheats. I was witness. He beat you fair and square. What's she complaining about? What's Carla complaining about? Oh, she and Otis played a round of insult rock, paper, and scissors to see who would have to clean the scuppers. She lost. There's no such thing as an illy whacker. That's what I tried to tell that Australian jerk, but it didn't work for me either. Where did he go then? Where did Otis wander off to now? Oh, he's around here somewhere. I told him not to leave the shipyards. There, there's probably something I should tell you about the scum bar. Um, there's something I need to tell you about the scum bar. What might that be? Uh, 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 it's fine. Doing fine. Nothing to worry about. That's what I like to hear. You shouldn't worry about losing it. You shouldn't worry about losing the scum bar. Why not? You still got this navigating job to fall back on. Yeah, for another two old acts. What? Oh, he just broke the wall there. Yeah, what about Charles L. Charles? This is some big stuff that happened. You'll never guess what I found out about that Charles L. Charles character. What? He's actually LeChuck in disguise. How about that? You, you're not surprised? Aren't you surprised that Charles L. Charles is really LeChuck? Are you kidding? That was foreshadowed from the start. Yeah, a little bit. You know about the ultimate insult? Have you ever heard of something called the ultimate insult? It wouldn't have anything to do with being beaten in insult arm wrestling by a spaghetti-armed pirate wannabe, would it? Um, no. I don't know nothing about it. it. That is quite insulting, isn't it? We should get back to work. I should get back to work now. Work? Is that what you call it? Now, we were actually given a clue about this. It was kind of vague, but we're going to go ahead and do it as if it wasn't. Uh, we need to put the earrings. Remember the order that we got them? Uh, we could wear them. We could use them on the dainty lady. Uh, I believe we want to use it with the figurehead in particular. Yeah, we do. All right, put the, the earrings on there. Such a nice fit. What? Where? Oh, Christ, not again. Couldn't just leave me alone, could you? Most pirates would be happy with a gorgeous inanimate figurehead. But no, you had to stick those accursed voodoo earrings into me. Well, here I am, an enchanted, talking, ticked-off figurehead. Am I everything you hope for? Hey, a talking figurehead. Hey, a talking monkey. Well, actually, I'm a mighty pirate captain. Besides, there's no such thing as a talking monkey. Says you. I've been everywhere in this cesspool of a tropical paradise, and I've seen everything. Much more than some grog-like, swill-a-nobody like you. 
Um, okay. Well, I'll talk to you later. Suits me fine. Hey! Who painted me pink? I think I like her. Let's talk to her. Um, figurehead lady? What? Uh, what, what's with your voice? What horrible abomination of nature gave you the ability to talk? Damnedest thing. I cross tax with some old sea hag of a ship. How was I supposed to know she was carrying a cargo hold of voodoo root? So, a bunch of mojo crap fell off her decks and I sailed right through it. Next thing you know, I'm talking. Like you care anyway, squid for brains. You look kind of familiar to me. You look kind of familiar. Perhaps you've seen me in your nightmares. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Yes, you have. Watch this. I'm the king of the world! Woo! Ah, stop. That's the scariest thing I've ever seen. Titanic, yes. Well, that was a long ass movie. It was good, though. What's with the attitude? What's with the surly attitude? You'd be surly, too, if you were screwed to the stem of a ship. Good point. That's entirely true. You want to be my official si ship? Want to be my official ship? Want to be my anchor? <laughs> Let's be stupid about it. Did you mean that in the literal sense or the figurative? How's this for clarity? Make like a jellyfish and dry up on the beach. That's pretty clear. No, I guess I don't want to be an anchor. Well then buzz off, son. You're blocking my view. I'd make a better captain. How long were you a bellhop before you got promoted? How about dropping this subject, toilet brush three bowl? Fine. We will just continue on, and we will put the next thing on her, which was the necklace. Uh, they do keep it in order for you, but you do have to remember the order. If a statuesque lady of your beauty should have a necklace. Oh, how sweet. You remind me of the daughter your parents never had. I like her. She is good. Do you have anything more to say? Um, figurehead lady? What? Yeah, do you know about the, the ultimate insult? Never heard of a voodoo talisman called the ultimate insult? Sure. What of it? Wh where is it? Do you know where it is? No. Nope. You know what it looks like? Do you know what it looks like? No. Nope. I've heard it can emasculate the toughest of pirates. Really? Are you sure you've heard of it? I've never heard of your stupid ultra mint insult thing. I was just yanking your chain hard. Oh, scrub off now, would you? Fine. We are done talking to her, even though she is quite awesome. We need to give her the pin on her chain as well. What is this compulsion you have to dress me up, you pantaloon freak? I, I still like her. And then we need to give her the, the, the painting as well. Something old, something new, something borrowed, have something blue. Just stick that right on her oh, face. Oh, do you need me to carry that big, heavy picture for you? Yeah, do you mind? You know what else would look good on me? Your blood on my hands. Say, you don't happen to know anything about the ultimate insult, do you? I got your ultimate insult right here. Sounds like a big yes to me. Do you know where it is? How the poop deck should I know? Get a load of this guy. Thinks just because I'm attached to a ship, I know where every little two-bit piece of dirt of an island is. What a scupper licker. Ooh, look at me. I'm Guybrush Three Thorns. I'm a mighty stupid pirate. Are, are we going to do anything with this? You're not letting me do anything. But it is pointing me in the right direction. What the hell? Put, put, no, yes. There we go. We're moving over here. We are eventually going to get the thing that I want, aren't we? I feel like I should be doing something, but nothing I'm, I'm trying is working. At all. I feel like there is a lot that needs to be done here. 
There. Oh. No. We're, we're just kind of moving the thing around. I feel like, once again, should be doing something here. I'm even getting window sounds because I'm pressing too many damn keys. Trying to do something. Oh, it moved on its own. Apparently this is supposed to take this long. I don't remember it taking this long. But... Eventually... We should get what we are looking for. Finally, it's starting to move a little bit faster here. No, we're, we're not quite done just yet. feel like this should have gone a lot faster. And then over to Jambalaya Island. I do like this character, though, I must say. Oh. There we go. Jambalaya. That is where we need to go, apparently. So we're just going to have this kind of hang out here for a little bit more. I do like her character. She does kind of great after a while, but damn it, she's got some good lines here. She's got some good lines. Once again, kind of hoping to move along a little bit quicker here. No idea what, ha what why that took so long. Do you know what it looks like? I told you, you festering bucket of shark bait. I don't know anything about your supposed ultimate insult. Look at you walking around like you've got a bow spread up your. Hey, what's this now? Yikes, this looks complicated. This is your captain speaking. Prepare the ship for departure. Oh, great. Now where are we going? Jambalaya Island, home of the ultimate insult. Jambalaya Island? What kind of name is that? Sounds Can you delicious. get us there, Mr. Cheese? Aye. Make it so. <clears throat> Elaine? Aren't you forgetting something? What? Uh, clean underwear? Clean underwear? Thanks. I almost forgot. You're welcome. No, you forgot to give the gubernatorial symbol back to me. Oh, yeah. Here. Oh, I wanted that. Well. I'm off to find the ultimate insult. Try not to get killed and or cursed, dear. She has so much faith what? in me. What? Hey, a talking monkey! Oh, ungrateful. Uh, Mr. Cheese, wouldn't it be easier to sail around that typhoon on the horizon? <laughs> Where'd be the fun in that, Captain? Cry havoc and let slip the dogs of war! And around Make in the to drive. We go. Release the Kraken! Not in the face! Not in the face! Oh, the ship cannot stand monkeys, the straight Monkeys, monkeys! There's no place like home! There's no place like home! This was only supposed to be a three-hour tour. That was a lot of references. Well, that was a miserable journey. No cushy government job is worth this much grief. Welcome to Jambalaya Island, home of swashbuckling pirates and spooky voodoo curses. And tacky theme restaurants. And tourists. Do I be hearing piped in music wafting through those artificial trees? What are you guys talking about? This is a perfectly normal pirate town. Micro groggery. <laughs> That's very nice. Oh, Star Buccaneers Coffee. This is very authentically pirate. Planet Three Wood. Finally, my own restaurant That's chain. That's been completely taken over by the corporate tourist industry. Gee, Ozzy must have been really busy here. Oh, I need a drink. I've got repairs to make. I'll stay here and, um, uh, guard the ship. Did your head, do you have anything to say about that? Apparently not. And now we have made it to Jambalaya Island. And with that done, that is going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Escape from Monkey Island. I've been Baller Scoob. I've been joined, as always, by our mighty pirate, the dresser of figureheads on chips for some reason, Guybrush Threepwood. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.